The Duchess of Sussex has given royal watchers a big hint about her much-debated due date. The news that Meghan and Prince Harry will be flying to Morocco later in February reinforces information revealed by the Duchess in January. The mum-to-be told fans she was around six months during an official visit to Merseyside, leading fans to figure out that she was due to give birth around the middle of April. Despite that information, there has been a lot of speculation over the size of Meghan's bump with some people wondering if she was due earlier than mid-April or that she was carrying twins. Since you can only fly up until week 37 during pregnancy, and up until 32 weeks while carrying two babies, mathematics shows that the first indications on the due date between April and May are correct, and the rumors about Meghan carrying twins are inaccurate. Though perfectly safe to fly, Meghan will be heavily pregnant during the trip to Morocco but the couple are expected to undertake a number of engagements there. The palace announced the news on Friday, with a statement that read, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will visit Morocco from Saturday 23 February to Monday 25 February 2019. This visit is at the request of Her Majesty's government. Full details of the visit will be announced in due course. Chatting to guests at the Endeavour Fund Awards on Thursday evening. Meghan revealed her excitement at waiting to find out the gender of her firstborn with Prince Harry. Though speculation continues as to whether the royal baby will be a boy or a girl, Meghan confirmed they wanted to keep the gender a secret so they can enjoy the surprise. She was heard saying, We don't know. Yes, we decided to keep it a secret, and then that way. It's one of those things, like, no matter what it is, it's still going to be a surprise. There was plenty of chatter about the unborn royal baby during the evening, with Prince Harry also overheard telling one invitee, there's a heavy baby in her. Meanwhile, Meghan praised her husband, saying, he's going to be the best dad, 